This video provides an overview of the wireless remote and manual hydraulics operation for the Duct Dog E Plus underground puller. Before operations, perform all pre operation inspections. Be sure to read and understand the instructions in the operator's manual before operating the machine. The Sherman and Riley Duct Dog E Plus has a maximum pulling capacity of 7,500 pounds. The Duct Dog E Plus is primarily operated by this remote control transmitter. The remote is stored in the lockable toolbox. The remote transmitter comes with a standard battery pack that holds three disposable AA alkaline batteries. After turning the unit on, make sure the e-stop switch on the transmitter is in the raised or pulled out position. Check that the real payout pull-in paddle on the remote is in the neutral or central position. The operator can now turn on the remote control by pushing the toggle switch to on and then releasing it. This will initialize and power up the remote control and search for the remote control radio signal. After initialization, the remote control display will read, press start to connect. Push the on start toggle switch to start. The remote control will now connect to the machine. Information such as the watchdog indicator, battery life, and signal strength can be seen in normal operating mode. The large red button is the emergency stop. This will shut down the remote and the engine when pressed. If the remote control transmitter is ever tilted or dropped, it will shut down and the system will generate a warning message. The LCD screen on the remote control provides real-time information during operation. You can change configuration settings, confirm commands, provide feedback, and see diagnostic information from the remote control. Each time the user operates a control on the remote, a message will be displayed to confirm what is being operated. Joysticks and paddles or levers on the remote transmitter control the tension, boom, reel payout and pull-in, and jacks. Resetting the line counter will set the footage counter to zero. Sherman and Riley recommends doing this at the beginning of payout. The counter does not show negative numbers. You would not want to reset this when line is already paid out. Position the machine to fall within reach of the boom. Then, set up and level the machine. Leveling the machine can be done with the three hydraulic jacks, either via the remote or from the system control panel. Manual hydraulics can also be operated via the controls located on the street side of the machine. To operate the manual controls, press and hold the green hydraulic enable button while simultaneously operating the control levers. Check the level on the rear frame to confirm that the unit is level. Next, lower the boom to a horizontal position. The boom can also be extended as necessary to be positioned over the duct or vault. Additionally, the boom features a 50-degree swing arc in order to assist with quick setup. The winch has three gears that vary the speed. To shift winch gears, on the system control panel, press and hold gear shift until the button turns blue. On the winch itself, move the gear shift lever to the desired gear, then press the gear shift button again on the control panel to exit mode. To pay out, move the real payout pull-in paddle. Payout is on demand. The line must be pulled or attached to a bird being blown. To stop payout, bring the paddle switch back to neutral or stop pulling on it. To pull line in, change the gears as needed. Line tension for first gear is up to 7,500 pounds with demand payout. Second gear is capable of a line tension of up to 3,500 pounds with demand payout and third gear has a line tension capability of up to 1,500 pounds with demand payout. Set the desired pulling tension. Use the real payout pull-in paddle to pull the line in at the desired speed. Again, to stop the pull, bring the paddle switch back to neutral. This concludes the video overview for operations that can be managed by the remote control and the manual hydraulics operation on the Duck Dog E+. Be sure to read and understand the operator's manual before conducting any operations. Thank you for choosing Sherman and Riley.